All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to JDW TV. Uh, I'm going to show you today how to undervolt your system and to undervolt your graphics card so you can try and get your temperatures down and within a reasonable range. Uh, <clears throat> that's especially important for these HP Omens because we all know that they run just, just way too hot. You know, it's not even acceptable. I'm extremely upset about all the work I'm having to do to make this computer run appropriately. Uh, paying as much as I did for this thing, it, I shouldn't have to go through all this, but I'm sure you guys understand. You're in the same boat, right? So let's go through this. Uh, all right, first things to know is undervolting your system. It's not like overclocking, okay? It's, it's the opposite of it basically it, you don't have to worry about hurting anything you're not going to burn your cpu or destroy your graphics card or anything like that the worst worst thing that'll happen is your computer will simply shut down and say oh sorry there's a problem you restart it it'll restart at the factory voltage settings you're good to go and you can adjust it from there so you're not going to hurt anything don't be scared this is safe unlike overclocking you can fry your chip this you cannot you'll be good all right <clears throat> so for us uh hp omen users simply open up your omen gaming hub go to your overclocking all of you are going to be set on default i'm sure unless you overclocked it already with intelligent or custom or something uh if you've gone that far and your temperatures are fine you probably don't need to under undervolt then again I personally believe, and this is my opinion, undervolting your computer is the same as optimizing your entire system. Okay? Everything we do on computers, gaming, all that stuff, it, it runs as well as it does because it's optimized to run well like that. Okay? If, if we're pushing you know, an extra, a bolt through our system when it, that it doesn't need, that is not optimized. That is, that is in fact, bad for your system. You're, you're overheating your system. You're pushing too much power, causing degradation. It's not worth it. You, you want that balance, right? You want your computer optimized to run as efficiently as possible with the least amount of power. So you, what we're going to do here today is make sure that it runs just as good, if not better in the case of the graphics card, with less power. Okay, You, you don't want to clock it down. You want to make sure that it stays the exact same efficiency with using less power okay that's the goal all right so we'll be using two programs today uh one for the strict hp omen users you're going to use your omen gaming hub this will be really easy for you uh if you're using another computer you know that's not an hp omen you can use the intel extreme tuning just go you know google it download it if you would like to use the intel extreme tuning uh on a HP Omen and don't have the same type of one I do where you can access your memory and all everything you need. I have a video on my channel. Please go look. Uh, I don't have a whole lot of videos up yet, so it'll be easy to find for you. But uh, it walks you through how to download all of this very easily with, without trouble. All right, so first thing we're going to do, um, if you look here on yours for the Turbo Boost Short Power Max, yours will be set all the way up to 250 okay if you have the this is assuming you have the same gra uh, cpu i do which is the intel 10 850k all right if you have another cpu i, I don't know what these are going to be set at for you if yours is intel if you have a, a ryzen cpu you can use ryzen master to do all this kind of stuff uh, same thing. You can go right into your BIOS if you don't have an HP Omen and you can actually access your system. Use your BIOS. It's, it's much better than all of this. Um, all right. So first thing, this is a lot of power for your little chip to be having pushed through it. I would not touch this until you absolutely have to. See if you can get your power down, your temperatures down by just doing the core voltage offset. Okay. If you can get your temperatures down with just doing this, then you're fine. You don't have to do it. I personally, 
find dropping this here does not seem to affect any of my uh, rendering, doesn't seem to affect any benchmarks. So I drop it down because it makes a huge difference for me and it still has the same thing. Test it on yours, see what works good for you, start 25 down at a time. Do not drop it down below 170 for your Turbo Boost Max. It'll bring this down, then your power, your efficiency will drop. Then the ability of your CPU will go down. You don't want that. Uh, I wouldn't mess with the Turbo Boost power time window. I'd leave that same. The biggest biggest thing you're going to work with first is just this core voltage offset, okay? It's going to start off where it's just going to be 0, 0, 0. All you got to do is come up here, click down to the one time. Then you're going to want to get you some kind of stress test uh, for your CPU. If you, if you have this, uh, this has got a test on it somewhere. Let me see. Basic tuning. There we go. You can run a benchmark, test it out, see how it's working, see if the power is good. Uh, I would suggest instead of just a benchmark, you want to instead get a CPU stress test. Uh, I use the 3D Mark. It has a CPU stress test. Uh, that way you can make sure that your system is uh, stable. You want to make sure it's not going to shut off on you while you're doing, you know, your normal activities and stuff like that, or, or high powered activities. Last thing you want to be in the middle of rendering a video and have your whole computer shut down. That would suck. Okay. So you want to do a stress test after each time you drop this voltage down one mark. Okay. Boom. Just each time click it down one, run a stress test, check it out. If it, if it lasts for the stress test, you're good. Okay. If you're on the HP Omen, use your gaming hub here, and it's going to be the same thing. Come over here, just one at a time, okay? If you click it once, do a stress test. Click it again, do a stress test. As you see, this is if you have a Intel uh, iCore 9 10 850K. This is where I've gotten mine so far. It's still doing fine. I never hit a point where it uh, started bogging down or shutting my computer down or having any errors. And this was good enough to drop my temperatures quite a bit. Uh, at, at idle, they sit usually 27. Uh, in game and full load and stuff while I'm doing any and everything I want, it, it doesn't get above 60 anymore. So it's great temperatures. I'm very happy with that while maintaining 100% of my power. Okay, all, all performance is still there. It's still hitting the max clock speed it's supposed to it's still getting up to the 5.1 uh megahertz during full loads and when it's pushing you know so that's great that's what you want this is the easy part for you guys okay one at a time do your do your stress test come back do it again stress test if you have the 10850k you're probably good bringing it down to where i am starting from there because it's going to be similar cpus uh, like I said, just one at a time, you know, you're going to, you're going to start at default, click back once. If, if you want to live on the edge, feel exciting, you know, you go two at a time, go to 10, do a stress test, 20, do a stress test, 30, do a stress test, you know, go like that. Uh, okay. So after you got that part done, nice and easy, hit apply, that'll, that'll, Take care of all that for you. It'll accept your voltage, uh, core voltage offset. If you're in the Intel Extreme Tuning, just do the same thing. You change all, change that. Hit Apply. Okay. Now, if you do all of those things and you have the uh, Intel iCore 9 10850K, and you and you see that your temperature still seem to be spiking pretty hard, you can simply come over here to the Turbo Boost Short Power Max. And drop it down some, uh, you know, go 25 watts at a time. Maybe 225. Check it from there. This this isn't going to do anything as far as stability, okay? You could, you could turn this entire thing off. Your computer will still run fine. You will lose power it, or uh, efficiency, I guess. It, it won't run as fast as good, but it will not make it be unstable. Okay, so you can... 
take this and move it wherever you want. It's not going to hurt anything. All it's going to do is lower the max wattage, push through your system in a short boost. Okay. 250, in my opinion, is just too high for the city bitty cooler in this case in here. You know, perhaps once I put a bigger cooler on there and I do my case swap, I'm going to bump it back up and see if the temperature stay down after that. For now, this works fine for me. And like I said, I haven't noticed any difference in performance. Uh, all of my stuff is still rendering the same. My benchmarks still hit the same. So this works for me. 175. Okay. Add this up, put that all that back where it was. And there you go. That's how you hundred volt your CPU. Don't be scared. You're not going to hurt anything. Just the, again, core voltage offset. That's what you want. You do not want core voltage. That will change the voltage to a base level period. You, with the core voltage offset, your computer still has the ability to, to change its, its, uh, voltage system so it can it can shoot more or less depending on what it's doing and the core voltage offset what it'll do is bring the whole thing down like this while it's still allowing the voltage to move up and down if you do the straight core voltage and just change that it'll lock it in one place and won't adjust it you don't want that you want to do the core voltage offset it's it's safer it's better more reliable stick with that all right uh, if you have any questions about the cpu under volting let me know you know, like, like you see, I'll answer everybody's questions on there. I'm happy. I got nothing better to do. It's a pandemic, man. We're all stuck at home. I, I, I like the interaction. So let me know. Happy to help you out.